Today we are reviewing Transformers Rise of the Beasts Studio Series 100 Bumblebee Front of the Box Side of the Box Other Side of the Box Top of the Box back of the box so here we have the rise of the beast bumblebee out of his packaging and he's awesome i cannot lie to you guys this is awesome um he doesn't feel cheap the plastic feels real good um the tolerances on mine my joints um i was worried that he was gonna be like loose but he's not loose at all. He's nice and tight. Uh, the only downside that I see immediately is the lack of paint. The, ye the yellow that they used here is very beautiful. It, it pops a lot compared to um, the prior Bumblebees. So look, check this this yellow out this yellow is just slightly darker and the new B is a lot brighter and then of course this bumblebee is more it's closer to orange than it is um yellow um as far as articulation you know what i'm not gonna go through articulation it's the standard articulation um the only real downside is you got nothing at the wrist because of the way this is uh, molded. So you got no wrist articulation and the, the molding here, it's just to here, it's just to hold blasters, but the previous B was like that. Bend at the elbow, all the stuff you would expect articulation wise, but the big downer is the lack of paint. Other than that, it's a beautiful figure, if you ask me. Um, I would love to see this in a premium finish. Now for accessories, he does come with this cannon and this blade. And unfortunately, they're not painted. Like it's lacking paint, which kind of sucks because uh, prior Bumblebees, uh, like the Cybertronian Bumblebee, his blaster was painted. So I would have expected it to be painted, but yeah, there you go, non-painted. He has a blade and he has that cannon. Here is B with the cannon equipped. And here's B with the blade equipped. Okay, so here we have B in his bot in his bot mode with the original um, Michael Bay Bumblebee and then the Cybertronian Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. Man, how many times I said Bumblebee? But yeah, as you can see, he's a bit taller than the Cybertronian B and a bit shorter than the Michael Bay first B. And uh, design-wise, he takes a lot of design cues, I think, from a little bit of both of the designs of the Bumblebees. Um, as you can see, he has the wings and the wheels, uh, pretty much the same uh, design-wise as the Transformers 1 Bumblebee. And then the bottom of his feet look more like uh, the Cybertronian Bumblebee or the Jeep Bee, I mean. And, uh, and of course, you know, design DNA, the front of the Camaro in his chest is like the first one. And then uh, the, the toy itself, unfortunately he has the fists and the hands designed like the prior Bumblebee. So, so yeah, that's the comparison of them in bot mode. Okay, so for transformation, you have the 
instructions here, the little instruction booklet. And this guy is 23 steps to transform. Uh, but honestly, I found his transformation to be intuitive enough, easy enough that I don't think you really need the instructions to transform him. And he definitely is a lot easier to transform than that original Michael Bay um, Bumblebee. That thing's a nightmare to clip together. And the Cybertronian Bumblebee is just uh, very delicate, but this one feels super sturdy and uh, no complaints. Um, smooth like butter. Definitely a very good transformation, very fun. I really don't think you need the instructions to uh, transform him. Okay, so vehicle mode here is beautiful. Absolutely love and adore this old school Camaro. Yes, there's kibble. But the story here, and you're gonna hear it here, and probably in other videos about this toy, is the lack of paint. So the lack of paint kills it. There's no paint in the vehicle mode. There's no paint in the robot mode. There's no paint in the weapons. But other than that, the actual scope, the, the scope, uh, sculpt is very good. This is unmistakably a Camaro that looks um, to be done off-road style. A little Mad, Ma little Mad Max. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Just needs paint apps. That's the main story with this figure is just paint apps. It needs paint apps. And uh, everything for the most part, all the panels click together. Very easy transformation. But yeah, cool, cool vehicle mode. Okay, so for weapon storage in vehicle mode here, in the Camaro mode, blaster, cannon, whatever you want to call it, goes in the back bumper here, and his blade gets tucked away there. Here we have the new Bumblebee in comparison to the Cybertronian race car from the Bumblebee movie. And then from the first Transformer movie, the Chevy Camaro, the newer one in 2010. And then of course this off-road version. So pretty much the same size all around. Definitely the easiest transformation out of these three. This one's the hardest. This one, the panel's hardly clicking together. I hate its vehicle mode, but I love its robot mode. This one's just delicate. This one just feels like it'll break if you do if you tab in with too much pressure. And this one is extremely easy, you know? This one is a really easy transformation but you know just like this this is missing pain apps a lot of pain apps are missing and that's what's hurting the overall figure but yeah that's the that's the vehicle mode in comparison to these bumblebees okay so final thoughts Overall, just to get straight to it, figure is awesome. The transformation is easy. It's fun. It's intuitive. It's not a nightmare. Um, the tolerances, at least on my copy, are nice and tight. They're not loose. It, uh, the plastic does not feel fragile. It feels decent. And uh, what else can I say? Um, it's lacking paint. That's, that's the real weakness of this figure, is that it's lacking paint. Other than that, um, it's a great, great um, brand new version of Bumblebee. You cannot go wrong. If you are a Bumblebee fanatic and you are looking forward to Rise of the Beasts, uh, go ahead, pick this guy up. He's, uh, he's going, 
you know, he's going for sale on uh, Hasbro Pulse, Amazon, and wherever else you pick up your Transformers at online. Uh, but uh, do me a solid. Hit that like button, my fellow Transformer fans. And don't forget to subscribe. And remember, guys, to always smile no matter what time of day you are watching this. Um, don't forget to smile. And I love you guys. Uh, all for one. Until all are one. <laughs> no, that was pretty corny. But uh, seriously, guys, uh, I'll see you guys later. And I'll see you guys on the next review.